uh, the first award tonight is the Donna Jones Moritsugu. Come on, I, I can't pronounce these words very well, so. Award, and it recognizes a spouse of a graduating student, and this is uh, each osteopathic college in, in the United States has uh, one award. So, the person that we're talking about tonight is Jenny King. Jenny, would you come forward? Over the past 10 years, and 800, over 800 students have been touched by this person. She has helped the students put on paper what, how wonderful we know they really are. With that, I'd like to introduce Dr. Barbara Parker and say thank you, not only on the behalf of the um, Center for Rural Health, but also for the school and all the students for her time, her expertise, and her caring, wonderful heart. Tonight I had the very uh, honor, the honor of presenting the uh, OSU CLM Alumni Association Award to two of our wonderful graduates. And it's so hard to narrow it down when you have 82 wonderful graduates. Um, a few years ago, we began giving, giving two awards to students who have not only shown a lot, a lot of dedication to our college for the past four years, but who we think will always reach out to others as OSU alumni members in the future. So I would like to present this year's alumni awards to Will Hanner and Lindsay Marshall. The Leadership and Service Award is given to an outstanding senior student who has made leadership and service contributions across all four years of medical school. It is my pleasure to present the Leadership and Service Award to Stephanie Michelle Reed. The award that I'm going to present is called the Mind, Body, Spirit Award. It is, award, it is an award that represents um, the essence of osteopathic philosophy, mind, body, spirit. And you all do that. And sometimes there's a student that comes along and it's more, and you see something in them and they sit across from me and they talk about their dreams and they talk about what they wanna do. It's very special to bring forth Sashi Weiss. <laughs> It's my distinct pleasure to uh, introduce to you the student deal of the year tonight. Uh, it's exciting because I've watched this particular student throughout the four years. Um, he wanted to be a pediatrician, so, you know, how could I not watch? And uh, as far as uh, recommendations for the student of the year at a national level, I got to sit in as, as the uh, interim dean. I got to sit in the uh, discussions and got to see all that he did, and it was just unbelievable. I don't know when he studied. I don't know how he passed. But uh, Ben Fong, would you come up here? And since he's going into pediatrics, he's my man. This year's Anatomy Award was based on uh, superior academic performance and achievement in the anatomical sciences. You all, I'm sure, remember every detail of gross and developmental anatomy, medical histology, and neuroanatomy. See, see where it got you? Yeah, you know, you're, you're doing fine. Well, anyway, I'm honored this evening, and it's a distinct pleasure to uh, present the 2010 Anatomy Award to jo Joshua Corset. <laughs> In choosing a recipient for the Behavioral Sciences Award, we consider a student's performance in our Behavioral Sciences coursework and in the Psychiatry Clerkship, and tonight's recipient has excelled in each of these areas. This individual has many other accomplishments, including being the recipient of the Osteopathic Founders Foundation Tribute Scholarship multiple times and having received the Touch Award for Community Service. 
It's my pleasure to present the Behavioral Sciences Award to Elise Kuykendall. Well, you know, we, are, we live in such a, a wonderfully digital age. I mean, just a few keystrokes, and you can be somewhere else in the, in the world. Uh, you can actually be taking part in either a diagnosis or in surgery or something like that, where you don't have to do it, but you can either advise someone who's doing it. Isn't that amazing that all we, you can be there. And uh, with just a few keystrokes, you're in touch with your friends, no matter where they are. So the ac academic award in bio, uh, biochemistry is awarded to <laughs> send. Now, will the recipient of the award please come forward? <laughs> Maybe I text when I should have Twittered or something. <laughs> well, okay, I guess we'll just have to do it the old fashioned way. The recipient of the award this year is Elise Whitson. The 2010 Family Medicine Award recipient is uh, a student who exuded calmness throughout our encounters with him as a third and fourth year student. Uh, and if, if you've been to the clinic, you know that calmness is a valuable commodity there. <laughs> he uh, exhibited a very engaging technique got along well with all the residents, even Meissen, which, frankly, <laughs> we thought about making a separate award for. Um, and he demonstrated an innate confidence and uh, an ability to calmly synthesize complex data and formulate a workable plan. Uh, when he was a medical student, the uh, physician interviewer said, I will take my kids to see this doctor. He called him a doctor already. Uh, so, in that vein, coming at your award, Dr. John Miller. <laughs> 